What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators channel. Uh, time for an update on the RV. Um, haven't talked much about it, but uh, it's been offline for a couple weeks because uh, I did another avionics upgrade. And this one is cool. Um, full ADS-B. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm just going to show you. Here it comes. All right. I'm not sure if you guys remember what this panel used to look like. Um, this part right here is totally unchanged. From here over is totally changed. Um, so what I did was I added, because this thing has PMAGs in it, the 114 PMAGs, I added an uh, electronic ignition commander. So this allows me to monitor the uh, elect electronic ignition while I'm flying. This is a standby attitude indicator, added two USB charging ports, and a dimmer for an LED light that's under here. Then down here, I added this new Garmin 335 ADS-B out uh, transponder, and flew it today, absolutely love it. And the big thing I did was I added this whole new panel. Um, now, I'm gonna put a picture in here in a second that shows what this panel used to look like, It had nine different gauges in it, I think. Um, and it, at first, when I bought the plane, I liked it, uh, but I got to not liking it because, you know, there were so many dials that that it wasn't intuitive. And so I went ahead and bought this Dynan um, EMS D10 and flew it today and absolutely love it. And then I added a, a little um, ball mount there for my iPad. Um, the other thing I added was this GDL 39 3D. Uh, powered by the plane and so this feeds ADS-B information traffic information to my iPad um, Which is usually sitting right there. So let me go ahead and power this thing on And here we go, it's coming to life. So you got the Garmin 155 right here, and I was gonna put a 430 in but I'm like, you know, this thing just works. So I left it um, it obviously it drives the autopilot and the altitude hold. Um, and so here is my uh, new engine management system. Tell me that's not cool. So what I get here, I get manifold pressure, RPM, oil temperature, oil pressure, and uh, voltage, amps, uh, fuel pressure, uh, fuel, uh, gauges here, so those replace the two fuel gauges that were right here. Um, gallons per hour, uh, EGTs and CHTs. Just a really, really cool system. It took about two weeks to install, but it, it was worth the time. Um, then backing up just a little bit, obviously the two USB ports. I haven't used those yet, but um, I also added this um, LED lighting system. Uh, just kind of as a as a standby. Then here is the uh, new ADS-B transponder. Absolutely love it. And the reason why I went with Dynan was, you know, obviously they make a good product, but I had the Dynan over here, so it just kind of made sense to do that. Get my headsets out of the way. Um, so there you go. Uh, new avionics. This thing's set for the uh, 2020. Um, ADS-B out requirement and uh, pretty darn happy with it. Uh, like I said, flew it today for the first time and it was way cool. One, uh, one um, thing I'll tell you about is this panel. Let me go ahead and shut this all off. This panel here, uh, I actually fabricated it out of, uh, I think it's 60,000th aluminum and as you know there's no good way to surface cover aluminum it just there's just no good way to do it, it you know you gotta you gotta prep it really well and use a, a really good um, acetate uh, etching primer so I decided to go a different route um, my last video I talked about this stuff called rub and restore I actually mixed it with epoxy thinned it out with acetone and actually sprayed that panel and it turned out absolutely beautiful, and the finish is really durable. I mean, it's hard as woodpecker lips. Um, 
you'll never scratch that panel. Not that it matters, but I mean, you could have just painted it, but I wanted to try the epoxy and it worked really, really well. So you can, you can get that rub and restore stuff matched. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. So there it is. My RV7 is totally ADS-B compliant and I really like it. I really like the way the avionics turned out. I'm a big fan of the, uh, of the Garmin uh, 335, 345. I've got 335s uh, in the Cessna right now. Incidentally, I'm gonna do another video on it. Probably not today, but uh, all the fuel system on that thing is, is wrapped up and um, it looks just totally cool. I gotta finish the interior, putting the interior back in and some other stuff like that, but I'm in the home stretch on both these projects and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go fly the whole summer. I'm gonna load up all my camping gear in the Cessna and, and just take off. It's gonna be epic fun cool. So all right. That's an update on the RV. Uh, next updates you'll see are probably in the air. Actually, I'll do a final one of the Cessna now that it's done. I've had a bunch of people asking for that. And, uh, um, you know, the next videos you see are going to be me uh, skedaddling out of here. So, if you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, comment. Till next time.